Yo, what is up, world? Welcome back to another beat making video. Today, we're going to be doing a Lana Del Rey type track here inside of FL Studio. So I'll just go over all the different parts and then I'll play it at the end. So I start off with the, uh, this piano and that sounds like this. Yeah, it's just a really sad chord progression. Um, that's usually the kind of sound you want for a Lana Del Rey track. And that is being played in Contact in the Pearl Concert Grand Library. And the processing on that is just some Valhalla Vintage Verb, some wider and some EQ. And for the EQ, I'm taking out a lot of the lows and um, a good bit of the highs as well. And then later on in the track, that same piano kind of switches up a bit. The chords are the same, but I'm kind of just like arpeggiating it. The, the bottom here, the bass notes, the left hand, and then I'm just strumming out uh, these top notes here. And that's what that sounds like. And then I have this cello. And yeah, it's like a really synthy sounding cello and that's being played in Omnisphere. The patch is called Paraphonic 505 Con Bass Plus Cello. It's a really long name. And the processing on that is just some Valhalla plate, some EQ, taking out a lot of the lows, bumping up the upper mids, and then Fruity Balance, which I just used to automate um, the volume for this B section over here. So it just kind of fades out. And that's all that does. And then I have this texture. Um, that's in Serum. Yeah, so it's just adding atmosphere um, to the track, some ambiance, and that's that. And then this bass is like super, 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 super simple. It's just following the root notes of the piano chords. Yeah, just really easy. And that is um, in contact as well with the Scarby bass. And I just have a limiter on that and then some EQ. Whoa, 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 whoa. And yeah, that's the bass. And then I have this guitar all the way down here. And that sounds like this. So yeah, it's the same chords um, as the piano, and I just added this top line uh, to it. And that is in uh, Omnisphere, that is the PRS lead guitar A. And I have just some reverb on it and some EQ, but obviously you can hear there's a lot more going on. There's like delay and chorus and all that kind of stuff, but that is just in the actual plugin itself, in, in the patch. And I didn't touch any of these. I thought it sounded just fine the way it was. And uh, let's get into, oh yeah, this intro here. I had like these almost like EDM sounding pads that I thought worked pretty nice for an intro. And that sounds like this. And as an atmosphere um, as well, if I can find it. Yeah, and that is just a super saw patch. And I have a filter opening and closing, just automating that. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'm just increasing the mix of the reverb, uh, which is Valhalla Vintage Verb. I'm just opening that up slowly over time. It just increases the energy, and I thought it sounded pretty nice. And then that comes back in a little later in the track. And I think for the instruments, that's about it. So let's just get into the drums. And the drums are just really easy. Um, just like a typical rock drum pattern. I'm using mostly um, live samples. And that sounds like this. Yeah, just like a simple rock groove will usually work well for her type of tracks. And then I add this clap in later. And then for the mixer, I have this all being sent to a drum bus where I have a uh, Valhalla Room on it, some vintage phaser, some RC20, some EQ, and then some sound goodizer. And that's all for the drum bus. And then I have um, some toms that I just use as a f uh, fill. And I think they're mostly from uh, Kashmir. And that's what that sounds like. I can probably tighten that up a bit, but it's all right for now. And I have this crash. Basically just like drowning in reverb. Oh, I also pan out the toms. On the mixer, it's just panning it left to right. That's what that is. Um, and yeah, I think that is just about everything. And the length as it is right now is only about two minutes and 30 seconds. Well, so like you can just like go back, like just paste this part over or just double this. You can do whatever, but this is like the core of the song. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'll just play this and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.